will be happy with. Josh, I had the fried grilled cheese sandwich yesterday. You had the you funnel did. cake. I love funnel cakes. It's like, it's like I, I love lamp. I love carpet. I love funnel cakes. Hey. You come to, to the fair, you gotta get a funnel cake, right? I want to. I've always wanted to know how to make a funnel cake. How do you get something so simple to make to make it look this beautiful? How does it turn into something like this? Well, Michael Davis, owner of Toucan Enterprises, is here with us this morning, and we have Edgar. This is this is one of your main cooks, right? Yes, kind of walk us through what he's doing. This is, this is how you make a funnel cake. Okay, we actually use a funnel for the for the batter. We put it in the deep fryer. We have a heart shaped ring to make its form. And it takes about 90 seconds to. I'm amazed how fast it how, how fast it does to take that. So you put it in the uh, uh, the heart shaped um, uh, tin, yeah. if you will, and it's cooking in vegetable oil. Yes. Okay. And uh, the batter is uh, something that uh, is very special, but really it's also all about the toppings. Uh, no, no matter if from from the cooking to the batter to the toppings, what about the, the how, what, what time are we talking about? How long does it take to make one of these? It takes about 90 seconds to make the funnel cake. <laughs> and then, uh, depends on the toppings, we have fresh strawberries we get in daily. Oh my gosh. And it's, uh, we've also come up with peanut butter and jelly this year. That's awesome. Make bacon and maple, and uh, it's pretty, pretty fun still. How did you come up with the name Toucan? You said you wanted something uh, 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 tropical. You've been doing this for nearly 30 years. Talk about your, your, your the story behind the name. Yes. I, I, I got pretty busy when I first started with just myself and we got real busy and I kept telling my wife one couldn't do this but I said I need help and she says okay there's your name we'll call it you know two can enterprises said one person can't but two can <laughs> <laughs> out of all your flavors because I had a tough choice I was like hmm, maybe I want the, the Bavarian cream well no how about the apple oh man that peanut butter and jelly sounds good oh but they got red velvet I literally sat in line for 10 minutes before I made up my mind What's one of your all-time favorites you've, that you've created? Well, my, Bavarian used to be my favorite, but now I, I've, since the peanut butter and jelly, that's really good. It, really? it kind of makes it crispy, and it's uh, pretty delicious. Well, that's how you make a funnel cake, guys. He's going to put some powdered sugar on it. We already have one pre-made. He just made this a few minutes ago. This is the red velvet with the cream cheese frosting. Guys, I cannot wait. to try. I've been tr waiting to dig in for this for five minutes now. Oh, baby. It's so scrumptious. It's delicious. Guys, Toucan Enterprise, look for them at the Kern County Fair. They'll be here all day, the rest of the week. Josh, amazing. I gotta admit, you're, you're driving Michael, Linda amazing. and I crazy right now. With you're that welcome. Stuff. That looks so, that's the best I've seen ever, Josh. Of all the Josh and the Job segments where you've eaten food, and that's about 500, um, this is by far the best looking <laughs> food I've ever seen. The best one out of like 5,000 segments, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dude, man. Josh, you, I Amazing. hate to say it, but you got to box some of that stuff up. Literally, I heart you, Josh. <laughs> we I, I heart you. All right, 728 is the Easy. time. Now, Josh, <laughs> I ate one of these yesterday. <laughs> you did, you loved did. How, how, how'd you like it? You loved it. Okay, Honestly, good, because I'm about it. to try it too. I remember Joe, owner of Eat It Joe's, and we're talking anything cheesy, right? Right, absolutely. Fried and cheesy. Let's just drive, dive right in. One of your biggest sellers, one of your favorites, is your fried grilled cheese sandwich. Yes, Show us how this puppy's made. Well, we start with basically just like a grilled cheese sandwich. You got white bread and good old fashioned American cheese. And we put three slices of big cheese you on there. You put the three slices on uh, there. That's. Good and cheesy. Whoops, that one <laughs> tore a little bit, but that's all right. So. How'd you come up with this idea? Well, we were at, working at a fair up north, and um, it was a slow day. <laughs> so we got the plan around and we thought, hey, let's fry a grilled cheese sandwich and see what it tastes like. So let's see what it looks like when you toss it in there. You... We have a corn dog batter here. Corn dog and batter, that's kind of a secret. Okay, so he puts it in the corn dog batter, walks over to the fryer. This one's, getting... this one's gonna be messy. Oh man. <laughs> I that live, live television, that's, that's just our luck, you know what I mean? It's all right, this is just a demo. You have, you have one you just made. Yeah, we have another one over here there ready go. to go. So you so. toss it in the vegetable oil. How long does it have to stay in there? It's about three or four minutes. Okay. It takes to cook, as long as we melt the cheese in the middle. And then, and then... we don't grill it on the grill first because otherwise it's so greasy, it's really... Ugh. Gotcha. And then once it comes out for three or four minutes, he just finished one about five, 10 minutes ago. This is what the final display is like. And Joe, if you could do the honors of just holding my microphone right Absolutely. here, because I'm gonna try to talk into the mic Crispy and try goodness. this at the same time. I watched Rob eat one of these yesterday and I was jealous 
I had uh, buyer's remorse, but I was enjoying my funnel cake too. I knew this was coming today, so here we go. Yep. It tastes like corn dog batter around a grilled cheese, which yeah, is amazing. And it works really well together. Very simple, but delicious. Absolutely. Now you also, have, Joe, you have something else too you want to show us yeah. really quick. This is something very unique. Show us your little pork chop here. Yeah, we have a, a new item this year. It's actually in our stand across the street. It's a pork chop on a stick. And um, we'll put it on a plate so we can see a little better. And we uh, bread a big, about six to eight ounce pork chop and we deep fry it. I feel like if if you don't go to the fair and get something fried on a stick, you're you're not living. No, you have to have those <laughs> fried food. There's no calories in the food at the fair. Can I try this too? Absolutely. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the pork chop too. Oh, it's still really hot. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's full of flavor. Yeah, really that blew me away. That's amazing. Joe, can you kind of fill people on where you're located? Well, we're in the center of the fairgrounds, just the front of the Bud Pavilion. All right. So we're on the main street, and uh, we have two stands on each side of the street. It says, eat at Joe's, you can't miss it. So hey Guys, he also has the famous fried cheese curds, too, which actually the cheese comes from Wisconsin. Dad always used to go in Wisconsin. I'm from Illinois. He'd go to Wisconsin, come back with cheese curds all the time. They're legitimate Wisconsin cheese curds fried. We'll be back later on in a few minutes. We're going to show you a few more treats. Joe wants to conjure up for you. Guys, back to you.